Okay, so I picked up a uh, Star Wars Trilogy Arcade um, Deluxe Machine. Um, always wanted a Star Wars Machine, and this is like the closest I can get to actually owning one. But anyway, um, when I looked at it and everything, the screen was flickering. It would go in and out of focus, like just constantly. Um, you know, I had a lot of burn and whatnot. Just kind of, uh, you know. It's just the way it was, and I guess it's kind of common for these projection screens to, you know, have issues like this. But, um, so all I really did was, uh, decided I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to get it because, uh, I figured that it's going to be either, um, flyback issues or, you know, the lenses or whatnot, they get burns in it and stuff. So, um, just decided I'll take the easy way and less maintenance way and just rip it all out. So I took it out. Took out all the guts uh, for the monitor, um, so the middle shelf is completely bare and there's nothing um, in behind, no mirrors or nothing. So I just took some wood, uh, threw some car uh, carriage bolts, um, a bracket, and uh, basically bought a 42-inch um, LCD TV. Popped up, and uh, yeah, it just it fits nicely. There's a little bit of room on both sides, which uh, you know. I think if I went any bigger, I would run into a big problem with the, the screen not fitting. And another bonus is I can get access to all the uh, hookups inside, so I ran extra cables and stuff to the other inputs, so if I ever wanted to hook up a DVD player or Blu-ray player or something like that, um, you know, make kind of like a multi-machine. Um, so it didn't work with a direct connection, so I ended up buying a, uh, a converter and hooked that up and I noticed that the uh, the picture wasn't all that great I'm like you know, I've, I, you know people swear by these things and and uh, so anyway I let it run for a bit and um, so since I'm speeding this up to show you what's going on um, basically after about five minutes of being on it would basically turn purple um, it would just get like a purple haze to it and uh, as you can see, it's it's getting a little bit worse and worse. Like the black is more or less turning into purple, and um, it gets so bad to the point where it just washes out everything. So it just uh, just let it run for a bit longer. You'll see. See, it gets a little bit worse, and then basically about seven minutes in, it just totally washes out all the color. Um, so I, I got a hold of uh, Jamma Boards who does sell these and they told me to uh, mess around with uh, some settings so um, gave it a shot um, and this is what I got and the picture looks gorgeous now um, and, and super clear nice and sharp um, couldn't ask for anything else so all I did was go into the menu and then I went into geometry then you got your clamp ST and clamp SP uh, those are the settings I use for my Star Wars trilogy um, you know it, I guess it varies for different games and whatnot but um, they told me just to mess around with those and and um, yeah it, it cleaned it right up and I don't get that I, I left it on for about two hours and uh, the, the picture never changed it stayed the way it did and you know whites are whites blues are blues and Reds are reds, and I don't get that purple haze anymore. So it's it's super sharp. Love it. Um, so if anybody's going to do this and clean up one of their uh, projection monitors, I recommend doing this. <laughs> 